Hey everybody, um, I want to real quick just point something out that not everybody may know about uh, if you're using BIM 360 um, is the data connector um, and to get to a, the data connector you have to have um, admin permissions to the uh, BIM 360 accounts so you have to have account admin permissions uh, and if you click up here, you can go to your account admin and then you should see an, ac an account insight button. And if you click on that, it'll take you out. And I think by default it's on this cost, cost one. Uh, but if you click on the data connector, which is all the way down here in this bottom left corner, um, it'll take you to this uh, page, which then uh, what you can do is... Uh, set up a data connector and to run an extraction on your uh, BIM 360 account uh, and you can even schedule this so I have it scheduled weekly on Mondays and you can see here I downloaded it and it's a it's just a, uh, a zip file called Auto, Autodesk Data Extract and within that zip file are many different files that um, just contain data about your uh, BIM 360 account so uh, projects uh, the project user uh, user services um, uh, use account users um, uh, uh, companies I mean everything that you would need to, to have um, now it doesn't include activity data and I think that's something that they're going to uh, release in the API at some point to to be able to retrieve that data uh, which you can, you know, use to to better understand how people are leveraging uh, BIM 360. That data is available to download, uh, you know, per project. Um, I'll have to check the API to see if it's available in there yet. I, I know last time I checked, it was an API. Um, it was only available um, as a beta. Um, but that activity data, um, or actually, you know what, let's just check real quick. So um, we've got the uh, document management, we have the data down here, and um, I think it would be maybe in the account admins if we look at projects, because um, it, it would be a project related thing. Um, this right here, this endpoint just returns the projects um yeah it may not be released yet as um, far as i i can i can tell um, but what is is the data connector which is in beta and and i think the other one's like in a closed beta um and so that's kind of the difference uh and again the other one would be retrieving like account active like not not account activity but project specific activity um, and, and then also the act, the actual account activity as well, so you can understand how your admins are using BIM 360, which is which is interesting. Uh, but I think what's more interesting is like if you are looking at the project activity, if you could understand that, then maybe when you do a training, does that go up, or do more people use BIM 360 in that case? And when I say BIM 360, I mean going out to the actual BIM 360 site and and, and kind of. Uh, messing around within their project um, in that way. Um, so back to the data connector, though, you know, you can run this on a weekly basis or whenever, uh, and then you'll have to come out here and download it. Now, I created like this small Python script that would download this and actually take the zip file, move it in the proper folder because we use this uh, data uh, in a Power BI dashboard. So you could definitely do something like that. Um, I found it easy enough to just schedule this out and then literally use uh, um, a website. Like it, it, it's a package in Python called Selenium that interacts with uh, websites. And I'm able to come out here, open this, and then just download it. Now, another option would be to use the API, which is something I tried initially. Um, but uh, I was having some troubles and I ended up just doing this because I had it I had it just weekly publishing it um, because one at least with this git request here it, it will retrieve the latest one so um, you will have to make a post uh, here to actually post the request um, but I had it automatically down or automatically doing that from BIM 360 I'm creating these so 
Um, I just create, I just with Selenium just came out here and interacted with this website. Um, I found that to be pretty easy and stable. Um, but with that said, I mean, you can work with these, this Forge API and it's just as stable. It's just the way I was going about it. I found it to be easier to use Selenium. Um, but you know, I think this is really cool. If you're looking for specific data too, I mean, you can, uh, make your, your, you know, specific queries up there. Um, uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this data connector API or, or this data connector, um, uh, you know, requests. Um, I think there's a lot of things you could do with them. So, um, I just wanted to share that for folks that didn't know about the data connector in BIM 360 and all of that data that's available to you to under, you know, to, to use, uh, for your firm to better understand, uh, pro what projects are out there, what people are on projects, things like that. Um, just wanted to share that with you in case you guys didn't know about it. And then also, you know, um, if you're familiar with like HTTP APIs, um, you know, I think this would, the Autodesk Forge, uh, documentation would be pretty helpful for you in interacting with that data uh, connector. So check that stuff out. You know, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and thanks a lot for watching.